All right, we're going to talk about L'Hopital's rule today. And um, this may be something you've seen before. Sometimes it's covered in Calc 1, sometimes it's not. But we're going to cover it here. And um, I want to go back to that function that um, I brought up in the lecture on limits. We looked at this function, e to the 3x minus 1 over x. And we tried to look at the limit as x approaches 0 of this function just by plugging in values that get closer and closer and closer to 0, either from the negative side or the positive side. And we found that the limit seems to be approaching 3, but we don't know that. It could be 2.999. You never know. <laughs> we have to keep getting it closer and closer and closer, um, you know, to, to figure that out. Um, but we're going to actually try to look at the limit in a different way rather than plugging in values. Um, now, so we obviously can't go straight to zero, right? We can't just plug in zero and get the, get the value of this function at, at, uh, at zero because, um, we have this x in the denominator. So we have something divided by, uh, zero. So if we put in, um, if we evaluate the limit of the numerator, f of x, we're calling, we're calling the numerator f of x. Um, and so if we evaluate that limit, we just get e to the 0 minus 1 is, and that's e to the 0 is 1, so that's just a 0. So the numerator is 0, and that's okay, but the denominator is x, so obviously the limit as um, x go to, goes to 0 of x is 0. So we can evaluate the function directly. But what we're going to do here is look at the tangent line approximations of the numerator and denominator. Okay, so um, so if you recall, we can um, come up with a tangent line approximation for a function just by taking the derivative at zero. Okay, so we're going to get the transit line approximations near zero, right? So we're going to look at f prime of zero, so that gives us the slope of the function, and then the value of the function at zero is zero. So the tangent line will have the same value and the same slope as the function at zero. Okay, so let's do that for both of these functions, both the numerator and the denominator. So uh, f prime of, of the numerator is um, 3e to the 3x. And if we look at f prime at zero, then we just have 3 times e to the zero, which is 3. And then we need the value of the original function at zero. So if we plug zero into the numer into the numerator, we get zero, right? We already got that. That's up in part A. So the tangent line approximation for the numerator is y equals three x. Okay. Now let's look at g of x. Now that's g of x is pretty easy because <laughs> it's already a line. I mean, I could go through the the uh, steps to come up with the tangent line approximation, but really, um, it, I think it's pretty obvious if you have the tangent line approximation of a line, it's just going to be equal to the line, right? So um, it's just going to be uh, y equals x, right? Because the tangent line approximation to a line is a line, right? It's the line. So it, you'll get y equals x either way. Um, okay, so we have our two tangent lines. Now let's take a look at what the ratio of those tangent line approximations give us. So if we look at um, f of x over g of x and we approximate those, um, the ratio of those, of those um, functions by their tangent lines, we end up with 3x over x, right? The x is canceled, so that's just 3. And when you're dealing with the tangent line approximation, the closer you get to zero, the closer that tangent line um, approximates the actual function, right? So, um, so near x equals zero, you can see it makes sense that if we look at the ratio of the uh, tangent lines, it gives us three, so the limit is three, all right? So, um, so that just kind of sets the stage, I guess, for L'Hopital's rule, because essentially what we what we're doing is we're taking the the ratio of the derivatives, right? This three is the value of the derivative at zero, and this 
is essentially 1x, and that 1 is the value of the derivative at, at 0. So as you would expect that, you know, the closer you get to 0, the better those tangent, line, tangent lines are going to approximate the numerator and denominator. So it's looking like this limit is going to go to 3. Okay? So um, I'm going to introduce L'Hopital's rule in the next video, and we'll go through a, a number of, of uh, examples where we apply L'Hopital's rule. So I'll see you then.